Grade 5 Exhibition. Each of the IB programs has a culminating activity that ties together the learning, puts the student at the centre of all the action and celebrates their achievement. The academic purpose of this is for students to take on and manage their own learning projects, to understand and structure their own learning, their own achievements, and to make sure they can communicate what they've found out, what they've discovered and what they've learned with others. Developing and teaching these skills is one of the things that makes the IB programs stand above the other curriculums. Making sure that those students, when they graduate from our DP programs, when they go on to university, when they go on to jobs, they're ready for success. They're ready to work in teams, they're ready to communicate, and they're independent learners for life. The theme of this year's exhibition has been online environments and how those environments have changed, developed, some of the risks of those environments, and how young people navigate those online environments today. Some of the activities and exhibitions that they've put on have been fantastic and it's been great for myself and the leadership team to work with those students throughout this exhibition process. Big thanks goes to the Grade 5 Homeroom Teaching Team and everything they've done with the students. Also to the parents for your support at home. It's also been great to see that the MFL team, the Modern Foreign Language, the Arabic and the Music team have all come together and played their part as well. So a big thank you to all the teachers involved. I really hope you enjoy seeing what the students have achieved and well done to everybody with the Grade 5 exhibition this year. Good job, guys. I like the Grade 6 students sharing their PIP exhibition first because we can get their honest opinion and their points of view since they were us at one point, which will be more suitable for us. So how did I and how should you prepare yourself for this exhibition? Well, for me, I listen to the teacher's advice because they give you plans and it's really helpful. How, you sh how you should you prepare yourself? Well, you should revise and repeat your topic once you've chosen it. Make sure to have a list of topics that you already want to ha choose. I like the collaboration between German, French and Arabic because we were able to improve on our group work and learn the same central idea but in different languages. Plagiarism by citing your sources or paraphrasing. 